Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we create title credits or rolling credits within Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so there's a few things to consider here. One is how you actually organize your, your titles, and we're going to give a, a quick example of how to do that, um, and then placing the titles onto your edit and working with the, the speed that your titles run at up and down the screen. So let's have a, a quick look at um, our titles here that we're going to work with. So we're working with some titles from a Finnish film by director Aki Kaurismäki called Ariel, and uh, we're going to use these titles or these credits for our film. So it's just a short set of titles, but it will throw up a few questions that we have about how we actually format titles within the, the scrolling credits in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's grab these first of all, okay, and we're just going to make a copy of these credits. So the nice thing about organizing credits in a spreadsheet is that it keeps a tab between the name of the actor and the name of the character, which we need when we're organizing our credits within Final Cut Pro 10 and getting the formatting right. So we'll jump now into Final Cut Pro 10 and we're going to bring up our titles panel or our type panel. So we're going to come across here to our T to show our titles and we're going to use a search here to search for our scrolling scrolling title and once we've typed in scroll we should have that pop up and you can see here that our titles scroll through nicely and it's got some default uh, text in there so we'll drag this across and if we press play now we'll see our placeholder text scrolling up and this is the text that we're going to change okay so in order to change this um, we can do this one of two ways one in the playback here we can just double click and start to edit the individual items Obviously, that's going to be time consuming if you've got a long list of titles. So what we want to look at is how we can automate that by using some formatted text that we can then just copy and paste and drop in here. So we will change one thing here. We'll jump in and change the title of our movie. Okay, and then we'll jump back down to the timeline, select our titles and just bring up the inspector. So it's within the inspector that we can edit our text. So when you're working with uh, your text, you may see initially uh, the video showing, but we also have our text and our title options um, here as well. So it's the text options here that we want to be working within. And here we can change things such as the font, the font size, whether it's bold, how the titles are aligned, um, and some other options if we scroll down here for line spacing, tracking, kerning. If you're familiar with typography, you'll recognize some of those terms. Okay, so what we're going to do now is jump in here and just paste in the text that we we copy. So um, you can see here we've got highlighted all of our text and we've selected everything here and we're going to do command V or edit paste and what you can see is the formatting is not quite held together so we'll explain why this is um, in a second but basically everything's aligned now to the left and not nice and centered as it was before okay and the reason for that is that in the formatting of the text we have a, a tab before our name here and then a tab between our name and description, which is what will align um, those characters' names and the description nicely in our title. So we're gonna jump back to our spreadsheet here, and we're just gonna do a little fix to this. So we need to have a tab before these names on the left. So if we, and you can do this in Excel, um, I'm doing it in Google Docs. Um, so we're gonna grab our names and our actors, and we're gonna do Command and X or Edit Cut, and then we'll paste those columns back in here, and that means that we've got one column before our names and our actors' names, okay? So we'll now grab these again. I'm gonna copy those. And you'll see now when I paste into Final Cut Pro 10 into this area, just scroll this down, okay? My names are nicely aligned, so I get those names aligned centrally. Sometimes you might get these types of issues pop up where you get a name that breaks or where we need to break it to a new line. So I'm just gonna double click in here, okay? So I can edit this text. I'm gonna delete the space and then press enter, okay? And I just now need to tab until my text aligns um, properly, okay? So it's tabs that kind of create this nice alignment of the space. And another thing that I'm gonna do as well is I'm just gonna reduce the, the transparency, the opacity of my clip behind so that the title stand out a bit better. Okay. So now we can see if we play this through, we have our titles playing and they're running a little bit quickly. So we need to now look at how we can, we can change that. Okay. So let's just zoom out a little 
Okay, and basically the, the titles run for the duration that your scrolling effect or title generator is on the timeline. So in order to make it run slower, we just need to make it run for a longer period of time. So if I drag this clip out, I'm using the selection tool here. I double the text duration, so now I'm going to play that through. So it should play back at half the speed as before. And you can see those titles are now moving by a lot more slowly. Okay, so that's a quick intro of how to create some basic titles um, in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel or to comment on the video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.